What's up guys, Jordan here with a review of the app Wake Smarter. This is a super powerful alarm clock app that allows you to really customize your alarm to your exact liking and overall it's just a very easy to use and easy to navigate app. Now, when you first open up the app, you're greeted with a beautiful background picture, as you can see right there, and you have a whole list of great background pictures to choose from, although this app doesn't give you the option to use your own pictures, which is a bit of a downside. Now, you also have the current time and date. And then this first button right here actually switches to night view. And then um, if you want to adjust the brightness, I'll switch back to day view to better demonstrate it. You simply drag down at any time and you can really dim the brightness down and you can actually turn it all the way off. And then if you need to use the app, you just slide it right back up. Now, one of the features that this app really boasts is the voice commands. So I'll just demonstrate real quickly. You just tap this button right here. Weather. Weather. The weather for today. At the moment, there are light rain showers with a temperature of 86. Now, as you can see, the voice commands aren't perfect by any means, but to be fair, even Apple and Google's voice command services aren't perfect. And it does have a limited library of commands, but it's still a very cool added feature that allows you to do a task quicker than having to go deeper into the app. And that's if the voice command works on the first try. Now, this tab right here is where you actually get the functionality of the app. So right here is where you add the alarm. So to add an alarm, it's very simple. You just hit add. You can choose a name. And then choose the time. So 8 o'clock. And then hit save. Now, right here, alarm actions. This is where this app really separates itself from every other alarm clock app out there. It has all these awesome actions. Um, you can have a playlist. You can have Twitter news, calendar events, joke of the day. It has all these cool RSS feeds, so you can get news, politics, sports news. Um, you can also have your weather forecast. Facebook news, so birthdays, events, and uh, updates. And then to add another action, you simply hit add action. Under alarm sound, you actually get three modes. So you have a radio mode, so it has digital radio stations categorized by genre. You can choose a playlist, or you can actually choose a different alarm sounds. So if I wanted to choose a playlist, I could select this one right here. And you can choose how long it will play for, and then just hit save. And then you can easily move it around. And to delete an item, you simply delete like so. So let's go ahead and test out this alarm. It does take a little while to load because it has a lot of content to pull from the internet. And in the alarm to skip to the next item, you simply tap. Your latest tweets by John Redinger. Lucy came to the office with me today. She looks thrilled. There are no calendar events set for today. News. Taken from Joe Kessoff that day. Net. The weather for today. At the moment, there are light rain showers. With so as you can see, it works quite nicely. Now... Crop Duster Media, the guys that designed this app, uh, they obviously have quite a good sense of humor because if you go under alarm actions and go to custom messages, um, you can type in your own or you can actually record one, but they actually have some really funny presets. So they have Barack Obama, uh, Homer Simpson, some others, and then the movie announcer guy. In a world without alarms, in a bed that time forgot, digitally remastered for your smartphone. Dreams in the Night Pictures and I Got Up Three Times to Pee Productions brings you a story. So now you see uh, some pretty funny custom messages. Now one downside, and I hope they uh, fix this in an update soon, um, you actually can't choose specific alarm actions for specific alarms. 
So a bit of a downside there, but they have been updating this app regularly, so I'm sure that's coming soon. Now, one of the sucky things about alarm clock apps is that you have to have the app open for the alarm to work, or at least fully work. That's the same for this app. If you don't, um, it'll still sound the alarm, but it'll just be uh, kind of a buzzing noise. It won't be, it won't go through your Twitter, your custom message calendar, all that other cool stuff. And it stinks because a lot of people want to listen to music as they go off to sleep. So. Uh, the guys at Crop Duster Media built in the sleep timer, so you can actually choose the duration, the audio mode, again you have the radio playlist or sleep sounds, and they have some pretty sweet sleep sounds that they included here, so you can actually listen to the jungle. So they have some cool uh, sleep sounds there, and then to activate it you just slide on. And that's sweet because then your music won't be playing all night long. And then over here, you have your settings so you can even further customize. Oh, uh, I just remembered something. I need to wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow. So hold on. Add an alarm for 7.05 a.m. New alarm set for tomorrow, five minutes past seven in the morning. And you can pick up Wake Smarter in the App Store for $2.99. And you may say, eh, that's a bit expensive for just an alarm clock app. And regularly, I, I might agree with you, yeah, that is a bit expensive. But not for this app. I like the user interface, I like the features, and they're still updating the app, so that's the best part about it. Uh, I have the link to it down below in the description, so be sure to check that out down there. And then right below that is the comment section, and tell me what you guys think of this app, and if you're going to go out and purchase this awesome app. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one real soon. Later.